that we brought you last week, a couple in northern Idaho suing the EPA because the agency blatantly abused its power and interfered with their right to build a home, a home uh, that they wanted to construct with all of the appropriate permits uh, already given them. Mike and Chantel Sackett own a lot, a two-thirds acre lot, that the EPA decided to deem a wetland. You can see there that it is surrounded by their homes, docks, structures, and streets. The case is now scheduled to go before the Supreme Court early next year. We talked with the Sacketts last week here, and we talked with their congressman, Raul Labrador, who's since taken up their fight because the Sacketts, as they must, called his office. Uh, the office of Idaho's governor, Butch Otter, has absolutely refused to comment on this case and is not, as far as we know, joining in this fight at all on behalf of these citizens of the state of Idaho. Joining us tonight is Senator Mike Crapo of Idaho. And Senator, it is good of you to be here. Uh, this is, to say the least, a deeply troubling, uh, frustrating doesn't even go to it. This is such an outrage, it's hard to describe. How do you feel? Well. Well, you're absolutely right, Lou, and one of the biggest concerns about this is it's not atypical. It's not atypical in the way that the EPA has threatened this couple with $32,000 a day fines if they don't simply Im immediately comply with their demands, and it's not atypical of the efforts of the EPA to assert jurisdiction over literally all waters of the United States. Now, we're having a big battle here in Congress, and we're fighting with the EPA right now over massively intrusive regulatory actions on their part to try to assert control over water that has generally been under the jurisdiction of the states, not the federal government. In the case of Mike and Chantel uh, Sackett, uh, they described three, not one, not two, but three EPA representatives showing up on their two-thirds acre lot as they're trying to build it, having garnered and gathered and had approved all of the permits necessary and they, they treated them, as they described it, like uh, some sort of uh, criminal enterprise. Uh, and they have not responded to the Sacketts. They have not responded to us. They haven't responded to anyone, the EPA. Who in the world, what have we created here? What are we permitting to operate? Well, frankly, Lou, one of the things that you're seeing play out in this case is a frustration that my constituents are expressing to me day in and day out as I meet with them across the state of Idaho, and I think it's across the country. It's a very incredibly high-powered enforcement mentality at the EPA where the, the attitude basically is that they are going to assert incredibly broad jurisdiction. They are going to tell those who they are regulating, or in this case, who they are trying to uh, prosecute, that if they don't comply immediately with EPA demands, that they are going to face phenomenally uh, crippling fines and sometimes even criminal prosecutions. Will the and, EPA uh, respond to you? Will the EPA respond to you? They probably wouldn't respond on this case because when something gets into court, uh, members of Congress are not allowed to interfere with the court case. But they definitely will and should respond on so the you issues. So can't, you can't represent the interest of your constituents because it's in court? You've got to well, be once, kidding me. No, once, the, once a case goes to court, uh, the separation of powers in the Constitution mm -hmm. prohibits members of Congress from interfering with the court case. Yeah. However, it does not stop them from advocating the issues with regard to the agency or trying to do everything they can to assure that the individuals get absolutely fair treatment. Well, we hope that that is the outcome. I, we've got some great news, Senator. I know that, like me, you, you may be surprised uh, by this development I'm about to announce. But we want to congratulate the New York Times, if we could sh show that story. Uh, the New York Times reporting yesterday that an Idaho couple's permit fight dragging wetlands back to the Supreme Court. They have a slightly different little take on it. Uh, I, but you know what? They gave extensive time to the story, and we want to just welcome the New York Times uh, into, uh, well, we're delighted that they decided to follow our reporting here. Uh, well, so, I have to say, I've, I've read that article, although I don't usually tend to read the Times, and uh, I do yeah. think that they did some good reporting there. Yep, and we would, uh, we would agree uh, in, in all respects with what you said. Uh, <laughs> Senator, thanks for being here. We appreciate it so much. Come back soon. I'll do it. Thank you.